all you coin collectors out there and welcome to DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Today we're going to take a look at a stack of Australian five cent coins that I was given, or five cents coins that I was given, and uh, just go through them and take a look at some of the characteristics. And these are a number of years, I think, probably from the 60s to the 2000s, but let's just take a look at them. Uh, the first thing we can do is, is just, just look at the back. And on the back, we see that uh, very, very famous um, portrait of the spiny anteater, ant eater, or the uh, short-beaked echidna. And there he or she is right there with the five on the back for five cents, and the nose coming through, and the claws here, and the claws here, and the spines going around the outside. This is a copper nickel coin. And it, this particular back has been made since 1966. It's a Stuart Devlin design. And it uh, is, if we tip it up, we'll see that it is has a reeded edge to it. It's 2.83 grams and 19.4 uh, millimeters in diameter, 1.3 millimeters in thickness. And we look at this one, we see it is one of the newer ones, a 2011 with the fourth portrait on it. So I'm going to make a little pile up here of the fourth portrait. And then I see uh, this one here. And that's going to be, oh, that's the, and we call it the fourth portrait. And I should bring that back. Um, the fourth portrait of Queen Elizabeth is simply the fourth portrait, not the fourth different portrait on this coin. The fourth portrait of the Queen uh, that has been authorized by uh, the Queen herself. So this is a fourth portrait that's on a British coin, a Canadian coin, uh, any other coin that puts the Queen on it. Um, this is the fourth portrait. So not just Australia. And it turns out that Australia didn't have the first portrait on the five cent coins because they hadn't gone into um, decimalization by that at that point. So. Australia five cent coins start with the second portrait. Anyway, here's the fourth. Uh, here is the second. And you can see this is the famous Arnold Machen portrait with the Girls of Great Britain and Ireland tiara. So we'll put a pile of those up the top. Uh, here's a second. Here's another second. We're going to find a lot of seconds because they really pumped a lot of these coins out uh, when they first came out. Uh, there's a so this is the uh, third portrait. And this particular portrait is the Raphael David McClough portrait, or the third portrait of the Queen. We'll put a pile of them. So now I'll just separate them all out into uh, different piles. So here's a, a second, a second, a second. Third, and we, we're going to have three piles at the end, and we'll just go through them one by one. Second, second. Jeez, we got a bunch of them here, huh? Second, second, third, and you, you start to notice the difference once you start going through them a little quicker. There's another second, and we got a couple more down here. Another second and another fourth. So we have three piles here. We have the fourth portrait, the third portrait, and the second portrait. And we'll move the thirds and the fourths up a little bit and start looking through the second. So this first one has a little bit of uh, wear on it, as you can see. Let's move it down a little further so we don't have to look at the other coins up there in the periphery. So. Here is the 1981 um, second portrait of Queen Elizabeth II. And this coin was made from 1966 to 1984. So this coin actually was one of the first, this is the first image that was on a decimalization coin, but they made it in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. There's a 75, so now we have an 80 and a 70, and of course all of them have the same spiny anteater on the back. 
There's an 83, a 76, 77, 73, 66. This is the first year that they made them. And it's just a, uh, this actually is a really nice looking coin too for 66. None of these are worth much money. I think that if we look from the 66 to 84, the general circulation coins, you're not going to find one in the condition that these are in that's worth uh, even uh, 50 cents US. I would have to be actually in better condition than many of these. There's a 76. So these are coins which are fun to collect and get all the years in. There's another 66. And 82, so we're getting near the end because 84 was the last year. A 76 and a 78. So in those years that we looked at, they made uh, 45 million in 66. They made um, 67 million in 68. 48 million in 73. And by 76, though, they really started pumping them out. 113 million in 76, 108 million in uh, 77. And then the last 82 that we saw, that was the highest um, year ever. And in 1982, the one we looked at, they made 139 and a half million of them. So what came next? Well, that blank screen was kind of distressing, huh? Uh, in 1980. Five, they came out with the same coin, but it had the different portrait of the queen, and this is the third portrait of the queen. And if we tip it up, we see that she's wearing the George the Fourth state diadem, which is this crown here, the jewelry, uh, the necklace, the earrings. Um, and we changed a little bit here, but not much. Still Elizabeth II, Australia, and then the year under here, but because this is the Raphael David McClough portrait, we get a little bit of a initial layer, so we get a change there. And then on the back, we have pretty much exactly the same back, the Stuart Devlin back, and the same makeup, which is copper nickel. And then finally, for the fourth portrait, we see a 2002 and a 2011. Now these uh, coins uh, are currently made. So 1999 was the first year, and that was the fourth portrait of the Queen. And now she's wearing, which is weird, the Girls of Great Britain and Ireland tiara again, which she was wearing in the second portrait. So it came back. This is a, a kind of a different design of it, and that's because this is the Ian Rank broadly design uh, or um, engraving. And this is, uh, you can see if you look way down here, you can see an I, an R, and a B right underneath her neck. That's for Ian Rank broadly. Again, Elizabeth II, Australia, and then the year. And if we tip it over on the back, there's that old spiny ant eater again, um, sticking his nose through the five. So these coins are still currently made. I'm not sure how much longer they'll make them, simply because it's not clear that they uh, are of great value or much use. But in the United States, we still have the five cent or nickel coins made. So maybe they'll keep making them in Australia too. All right. That's all we have today from the DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Uh, we'd love to have you subscribe to our channel and leave any comments you might have in the comments section.